Oh, oh, let's grab birthday party. I'm hungry here. Hold on. <laughs> give me that arm. Give me that orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> The Wheel of Awareness is this guy named uh, uh, Daniel Siegel. Three, you're feeling your your arm is attached to your shoulder, your shoulders attached to your chest. Ah, uh, sensory perceptions, like you go into the body body instead of your mind. Yeah, and you're constantly That's saying, fine. "Okay, feel your neck <laughs> attached to your collarbone, feel your head attached to your neck," and then you just kind of get inside. Good body scanning or something like that. I think. I just there is a lot of techniques. Yeah, I remember being overwhelmed by all this. It was just too much, you know. You don't need to do all that. When I go on vacation, I'm fine. I'm always present. You know, it's just they take But it. But you are and not on the vacation all the yeah. time. Yeah, they cut it like crazy. Like you don't need to do. It. You know, it confuses people. They try to make it too like science. That's why. You know? That's why they need a structure. I think that's why I am building my uh, program because. There are a lot of stuff there out there, and is making people confused. Make it so simple, I, man. Make it simple because, like, lose it or use it or lose it. Wheel of awareness. And, uh, they just need a guide, like step by step guide, and yeah, yeah, and make it as simple as possible. Like the the whole the whole thing is present. If you're one hundred percent in the room, nothing's gonna touch you. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So that's it. So they try to like market it in different ways, and you know, I've had anxiety, but I haven't really done the breathing anymore. I haven't done the, the, you know, the the meditation. I don't do none of that. You know, and I think uh, acceptance is is the most important one. Like you accept what is happening, and that's it inside your but, body. But also, you got to kill what's in there. You got to heal what's in there. Like, of course, yeah, dad, that's the long run stuff. Yeah, that's the, dad, yeah. right? Listen, so if you get a trigger, you're on here, and the guy says to you, "Hey, Urge, uh, you're not giving me the right advice." You're gonna get off the Skype, and then you're gonna feel anxiety. You're gonna do meditation. You're gonna breathe. You're gonna do wheel of awareness. But what's the end result? The end result is you go on back to the little child, and you tell okay. him, "Listen, you know, you didn't deserve what your dad did to you." Nincs minden, hova mész? Ja, jó. Yeah, Sorry, it's just my brother. <laughs> oh, no worry, no worry. Yeah, so... You should, you should bring him into the business. <laughs> Sorry? Tell your brother to come into the business with you. He doesn't know English at all. <laughs> no, but he could be like editing. He, you could show him some editing tricks. Ah, yeah. That's that's yeah. give them ten dollars, ten US dollars, you know. <laughs> Once I have uh, the dollar, I will give to him. <laughs> I just need to sell something. He's <laughs> gonna grab the money like this is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, uh, being present is a good advice, but uh, if you have trauma, then it's very hard to get present because you get those bad emotions coming in waves, and uh, yeah. you just have to process it. You have to go back. You have to. Let it out, bring it up, let it out, because yeah. they are just coming out like a volcano time to and time. And then, like, imagine you get panic, and then you start doing the breathing. You know yeah. what that says when you're doing the breathing? I'm doing something to fight it. That's not how it works. If you, it's like I'm taking a pill. I'm doing the breath. Oh no! So what is your mind doing? I gotta get rid of it. No, let it go. But come. you resist, persists. That's yeah, the. What that? But you resist, persists. Yeah, that's it. So you have to let it come in. You just gotta, you know, all this idea. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. It's just you. you you're trying to push it down. <coughs> yeah. Let's Can go. you give me a sec? I just uh, grab some water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. This guy hasn't wrote me yet. <clears throat> yeah, I just contact with him in the meantime. Like, mm -hmm. like he afraid to go to the restaurant alone. Let's say, or eating out. And then we just list these things like he he can go together with someone, but he cannot go alone, let's say. And then we just rate it in one of ten, one in ten, one from ten, and mm -hmm. uh, we start with the lowest one, like which yeah, is not that scary, it. but still challenging. I yeah, I remember that. And then we put on the armor as well, like we change his mindset, we change his his behavior, his. Um, I, I give him some techniques as well to handle yeah, this yeah. and 
In the meantime, on the course, we speak about his past, try to figure out the traumas, traumas and uh, process that. And actually, I was thinking about this, like, how would you process or, you know, like you have techniques, you have, you, you are present, let's say, but the panics are still coming. You are okay with that. I mean, you, you can go through that. But panics are still coming. It's about you how you process it. Yeah, how you process yes. the panic. So here it comes the processing. Like you have a trauma, you have uh, something suppressed inside you, and you just have to process somehow. And that's how you solve this in the long run. I think like it will never come if if you process it once but you process the, it. I think the first part is you can't process right now. You have to get to the restaurant, busy restaurant, and you got to stay with it. And you got to understand that the, the anxiety, which is so scary, is not going to kill you. I think that's the first part of the whole. It right? should be to understand that the anxiety won't kill you. And <clears> you yes, busy restaurant. You know, I had moments. You know, I purposely got a job as a waiter during my anxiety. And Ooh. yeah, <laughs> and I would do catering waiting. And I, you know, many times I'm walking with the tray. And I get this wave of anxiety, but I know that I'm stuck. I can't do nothing crazy. I don't want to make a scene. So I just let it go. I have to let it go. It's the best feeling when you just go in force. You're forced. If you're home, you're going to go, ah. But if you're serving people, you can't do nothing. What are you going to say? You know, I mean, I guess some people, they want to run <laughs> home, but then you lose your job, you know? So, but that was later on. That was when I was a lot more stronger. I got the job. Yeah, you you got to be strong already. Yeah, you there. can't do it in the beginning, no way. When I was yeah, In the beginning, the I, I, I think uh, techniques are useful and um, being present and accepting accepting that, actually. But that's exposure. The, that's, that's the that's point. Expo that's exposure therapy. And exposing yourself, yeah. Exposing yourself gradually. That's the constantly, point. Like, constantly. Yeah, they said they have... Um, where was it? They have a, a meter, right, that you write down in the book I have, this book. Yeah, I'm writing. talking about like something like that. Like on a scale Going to a restaurant, one, what's two. that 1 to 10? How anxiety would that be for you? Going to a pastry shop, going to a pizzeria, you know, and then you do it. And then when you have the numbers, you say, okay, well, going to the park is only a one. So start with the ones. One week you do yeah. all the ones. Exactly. The next week you do all the twos. That could be a good thing that you yeah. could do for them. Exactly, yeah. And then you have some little successes, little wins, and you can just build on that. Like, mm -hmm. it just needs time. You know what I did? So <coughs> I used to I used to have moments where I couldn't breathe. So I would Google it back in 2007, and I couldn't breathe. So I said, what do I do? I took a straw, and when I felt like I couldn't breathe, I started breathing through the straw, right? Mm-hmm. And then I felt like I was going to have a heart attack all the time. And I was so worried. So what I do is as soon as I felt that sensation, I ran up and down my stairs over and over to give myself a heart attack. Like, let's, let's go. I'm tired of this, you know. Then when I felt like I was going to pass out dizzy, I would spin in a circle. <laughs> I was Yeah, going against, yeah. It's, You're fighting it. More. So then what happened was a month later, oh, my heart. Oh. I ran up and down the stairs. Nothing happened. I'm not going to die. I didn't die when I ran up and down the stairs. So now not only does it work when you're doing it, the running up and down the stairs, but it stays in your mind. Now, later on, when you're somewhere in a movie theater and you're getting that heart feeling, you say, look, I'm sitting down. When I ran up and down the stairs, I didn't have a heart attack. I'm going to be fine, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Movie theater. I have to write this down because I... I... Yeah, I had issues with that as well. I just want to remind myself. Like, I went to the movie, watch a movie, and in the middle of that, I had to uh, just run away. I felt that bad. What did you What did you feel? I felt like I, you know, you buy cola, Coca-Cola, you buy popcorn, this kind of stuff. Yeah. And I could eat a little bit, and then it's just, I started to choke. I, I couldn't, like, swallow anything. Mm. That that is uh, okay because Nine, okay yeah. you you don't eat the popcorn or you don't I didn't I couldn't even uh, drink the cola mm. I just reached that point and then you know what's the best uh, the worst 
I couldn't uh, swallow my uh, what saliva. is this uh, saliva. saliva, and the saliva started to grow in my in my oh mouth. My you know? Wow, uh, that's the worst. Like you I, know I what I used to do for like a few months. I used to touch the top of my tongue up here just so I could swallow. How bad the anxiety was! I would be out in the, in a bar or a club, and I would have to tap on my tongue, the back of my top of my throat, so I can get a good swallow. Because mm-hmm. I would always get tightness here. That tightness is so annoying, man. So I used to tap the top of my. So you had that as well. The roof you know of that my feeling. mouth, so I can get a swallow down. That that throat that thing is, huh? That helps. Yeah, yeah. You tap. You take your tongue. Huh? And you tap the the back. Huh? And it allows you to swallow it. Like it like shakes up the nerves. And it kind of, because it's all nerves, so it shakes up the nerves and it allows you to swallow. And you know what's the... I, I went to the massage as well, and I had the same feeling during massage, wow. which would calm me down. I was just uh, uh, not sitting, I was just uh, staying, staying on my uh, stomach, you know, yeah. and they do the massage. And I, I was just laying on my stomach when doing massage and... I felt like I have to go away. Wow. Yeah, the throat <laughs> thing is a pain. I couldn't figure out the throat thing for I, years. I was, I was afraid of swallowing my saliva. It was so bad. Oh, man. that's uh, I know. I've been there, man. I've been there. I, I, you know how many months I did that tapping of the tongue? When I had it really bad, I had the Benadryl, the allergy medicine. Uh, Buy any medicine that makes you drowsy. Take it, and it opens it up. Because I learned yeah, that he's... I went to the emergency room and right away I said, what did you give me? I feel so much better. They put into Venus, they put the Benadryl and I felt calm. It, it calms all the nerves, you know? It shuts off your mind, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, everything is in your mind. That's the the throat, issue. But the throat thing's a pain in the butt, man. I had to take the Benadryl it's to better. eat. When I had anxiety really bad, I lost so much weight, like 40 pounds. Because I didn't want to eat. I was scared to choke. My throat was always like closed. So, so you had that uh, issue. Yeah, all the yeah. time. So in order to eat, I would take the Benadryl. And for six hours, I would eat, 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 eat. And then that's it. Because yes, my sir. throat was so tight that it was ridiculous. I was like, wow. So what I do also is back here. So you rub the back of your neck. This opens yeah. it up. Yeah. So I'll show you. I, I would drive, and if I feel your like spine. I it, so the back of your neck, can you see it? Yeah. Right here. Mm-hmm. Right above the uh, the neck area, right here, right yeah. above the neck. So when you feel it, because one day I was couldn't breathe one morning. I ran into the shower, and I put my head, and I realized that the water on my neck was making me feel good. I was like, oh, wow. As soon as the water hit my neck over here, the back of my neck, the anxiety went away. So that's when I pieced it together. I said, if I rub it, it'll feel better. And mm-hmm. also up here, when I do uh, acupuncture, they put the pins right yes. here. This is a calming area. So you rub this over here, and this calms it. You look like a monkey over there. Those, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing acupuncture as well. You know, I could solve the straw, running up the stairs, the heart attack. But when your throat is shut down, it's mental too. It's, it's just mental. You have to fix the mental part. And uh, that, that is just a consequence, I think. The yeah. throat. Maybe you could like pretend to choke yourself. <laughs> something. I don't know, man. Ah, uh, You have to open up that area. <laughs> I, I learned something like you have to lay uh, uh, on your back like this. And open your mouth. Oh, okay. And that opens up this this area. Yeah. Or yeah. Uh, the weird one is when you try to do yourself like. Oh like this. yeah. Oh, that man. opens it up, oh, as well. I just watched so many weird videos about this. Like wow. it's funny. You know so, what's the other thing is jumping around and uh, just shouting. That helps yeah? as well. But oh, okay. like you have to be alone, of course. This is an expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Not technique. in the movie theater. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I, I like, have done this uh, many times and that helps as well. I used to do a little OCD. I used to rub my fingers. I would be in a softball game, baseball, and I 
I had this thing where I had to rub my fingers to feel better. It was like all crazy, you know? Uh, yeah. I did that for a few months. I would be walking on vacation with my cousin, and I had to rub my fingers for some reason. I would feel a nervous sensation. I would rub, and I would feel better. That's crazy. Funny. That's funny. Yeah. But when I couldn't swallow, I, I just had to tense my body up, and then I could swallow for like three seconds, and then came back. But uh, it helped a little bit. You know what you could do too? I was on a trip, a six hour, six hour plane ride to California from from here, and I would have sensations. And I read this online. You you grab onto the chair, you know, the armrest, and you just tense your whole body, everything, and you tense it for about twenty seconds, and then you let it go, and you see how you feel, and then you tense everything mm-hmm. again, and you let it go. And that was helping me so much because I was getting the sensation like crazy. I would tense my body and yeah. then I would let it go. Yeah, yeah. these are old techniques yeah. like body scan, this kind of stuff. It's just getting out of your head. That's yeah. that's the yeah. main point. But you know, I just want to tell you something. When I did somatic with my therapist, right? The the body stuff, the yeah. throat, every time we had I had a sensation in the throat, whenever she did the process for me, the throat is a representation that you need to speak to someone and you need to tell them how you feel express. Yeah. Because we, I did it for a year and we went through it and she would say, where do you feel the tension? I said, my throat she, all the time. She said, okay, we got to speak to your mom. We got to speak to your dad. We got to speak to the kids in school. And once I spoke to them, the throat will go away. So that's something to think about, you know? Yes. Yes. Yeah, my um, I don't know if you believe in chakras, but my my truth chakra, I think I believe that uh, it was closed. No, oh, okay. And yeah, uh, I, I did chakras. I remember. Sorry, I, I took the class for chakras. They opened them up, so I used yeah? to have the end of year. So I think my truth chakra, and probably it was the same for you, but it was so funny because uh, interesting because I just couldn't speak at all. Like uh, my, the words didn't come on my mouth. Wow. And you know you are out on a date, for example, and you you just forget to you run out of things to say. Now uh, I don't have that issue. I just yeah, can speak like yeah. uh, forever, and it's funny just realizing that I can speak. What? The-